Feldman. We've looked at mortgage rates, obviously, with the drop in, in um, Treasury bonds. Mortgage rates at, at record lows, and there it is on the 30-year at 329, 15-year mortgage at 279, and they've been falling and falling and falling. The drop has really been historic. National Housing Conference CEO David Dworkin with us now, and that's what some people have been saying. Well, here, there's your, uh, your bright spot, is that any, it's making more and more sense for more and more people to refinance. No question. It's a, thanks for having me, Connell. Yep. It, it's a really unusual market for interest rates. The easiest way for people to benefit from it is to look at whether or not they can refinance. And for people who have refinanced fairly recently, they really also want to take a look at whether or not they can move from, say, a 30-year fixed rate mortgage down to a 20 or even a 15. Um, for a couple hundred dollars extra a month, uh, you can often save tens of thousands of dollars of interest over the life of your loan and pay it off a lot faster, which is just good for everybody's finances. And on the question of timing, have you seen anything like this, maybe not quite like it, but in a similar situation where people say, well, maybe I'll wait it out and it'll drop more. What do you usually tell people who are going through that? No, kind of one, no one has ever seen anything like this. I know. So I think if you're waiting for the bottom, um, you know, maybe a couple of basis points you might miss it by, but but that's okay we're in because you're doing much territory. better than you were, right? Is that, is that we're, the doing, we're in historic territory, and if you can save right. even you know 50 basis points or half a percent on your mortgage, you want to really take a look at it. Everybody's situation is unique, but uh, it makes a lot of sense, and it's also important to think about if you're not a homeowner now. Um, this is a great time for first-time home buyers. Hmm. You know, a lot of people misunderstand and they think, "Oh, I need 20% down," but it's really not true. You can put as little as three and a half percent down, and it's the down payment that is the big um, uh, barrier for a lot of folks. Yes. Um, if you can, if you can put that money together, you can actually do better off than renting in many markets. That'll I'm be really be in interesting Nashville. to watch. Don't you think the, yeah. the buying of new homes? Because the refinancing is one thing. People already own their home, and that's kind of a logical move that they're making in their own lives. To say, right. boy, I can save myself a few bucks. I better take advantage. But buying a home is a whole different situation, and consumer behavior plays into that. If we're going into an economic right. slowdown where people are going out less, they're traveling less, theoretically they they continue to spend less on other items. How will that affect the buying of of, of new homes, no matter what the rates are, do you think? Well, if you're going to spend more time at home, you might as well own it. <laughs> and, uh, and I think that it's, um, it still remains the best way for people who are um, to acquire wealth and to build wealth. Um, it's, uh, it is a, um, an investment in your future, and you're paying yourself. When you pay that mortgage, um, you're paying interest to the bank, but you're paying equity to yourself. And, and, and it's important for people to think about that. Mm -hmm. we've, um, we've seen um, millennials very slow to the home buying market, but they are getting there. It's a lot because they've formed families later. And so now that they're doing that, we really want to encourage them to go out there and think about this as an option. And, if, and again, for their parents or people who already own a home, um, to think about, you know, can I shorten my, my term? Yes. Can I lower my rate? It's, um, it's money in your pocket. We do want to be careful, though, that you not get into a situation where you're coming out of a good mortgage and going into a bad one. So you want to make sure that you're really looking at a fixed-rate mortgage, a traditional mortgage, either by um, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, or FHA that most okay. banks and lenders carry. We're talking about lessons learned. I guess that's one from mm -hmm. uh, the last time around. David Dworkin, yeah. thank you, sir. We appreciate it. Good perspective on all of this.